Well, I'll send it in. from Botswana. I am a full-time farmer when I'm in my country and I run a social enterprise which works with empowering and creating development programs for youth and women farmers in my country. And when I'm not farming, I am a proud young single mother because the father decided to walk out from his responsibilities, right? Um, working with youth and working with women has made me realize that there's a lot of women who are young single mothers but no one is really taking or talking or tackling these issues. Working with youth and women has made a lot of women come to me and ask me for help. Talk about issues that they can't ask anyone else. Talk about issues that affect them every single day and I realize that everything that is happening to them happened to me before I got myself an empowerment and actually be able to uplift myself in being a better mother, a better woman in society. A lot of young mothers go through depression. They don't know who to talk to. They don't know who to reach out to. And even when they have something to say, they don't really know what is happening to them. Because no one has really walked in their shoes of being a young single mother. And most of the time, apart from depression, these women face discrimination. The moment you want to speak up about being a young mother, you are labeled as a baby mama who's got drama, right? Because people don't really know the issues that young mothers face. These are issues that I've seen happening to me when I had no one to talk to. Issues that I see happening to my family, to my friends, but no one is addressing these issues. These issues make you isolate yourself. Even when you're trying to reach out to someone, you've pushed yourself away from society that no one is gonna be there when you open your hand to reach out for someone. You don't wanna talk to anyone and you feel like all you want to do is be alone. But instead, and in fact, you really wanna talk to someone. This makes you feel so empty. People see through you and people see past you. They don't really see the pain, the worry, and the struggles that young mothers face every single day because we are meant and we were told to be strong every single day. A young mother is supposed to be strong because there's someone else who's looking up to them. We can't crumble. When I came to Chicago, I came across an interesting book, Single Mothers and Their Children. That one I was like, perfect. I've always been wanting to help young mothers and I felt like maybe I'm always whining about issues that no one is really taking notice of. But this book, I actually got it at Harris. It was one of the free section books. And I was like, wow. That's when I started a movement. Mothers rise up. Mothers rise up from poverty. Mothers rise up from abuse. Mothers rise up from depression, discrimination, feeling lonely and feeling empty. Because at the end of the day, we're talking about children, it's not even just about the mothers, but the children who are born into poverty. That is when I started a non-profit organization called Mothers Rise Up. Because I believe that equality for mothers means equality for all. And when I started this non-profit, I wanted to make it different by engaging young single mothers and their children, tackling the social economic disparities and inequalities that young mothers in my community face. I picked up the different puzzles from all the information that the women were telling me, all the different information that I faced myself, and I was able to create solutions. Sustainable solutions because we have ineffective policies, because people who make policies, they are not young single mothers. They don't know what they're talking about, and I know what I'm talking about. I've designed a program which will help young mothers in professional development, ensuring that they become independent entrepreneurs, they don't, they don't need to go look for a job if they are very financially independent. They can be able to make decisions which concern them, their child, and their household. This not only focuses on professional development, but social development as well. Mobilizing social resources to create safe and encouraging environments for young mothers and their children. For people to really understand what it feels like and what it, what it means to be a young single mother. To be very independent to be welcoming, for people to be able to know what we're talking about, the struggles that are faced young mothers. And would like to also offer personal development. To actually help mothers realize that their mental stability also depends on the happiness of that child. At the end of the day, when we're talking about young single mothers, we're talking about the child who was raised by that young single mother. Are they growing up in a respectable, in a safe and happy environment? I would like to bring hope to children in my community who are raised by young mothers. 
I would like to create a safe environment for these children, for them to know that even though their mothers are a single parent, they too can have a prosperous future, just like any other child who's raised by a mother and a father. By doing this organization, I've learned from the Miss Foundation for Women here in America, which actually helps and creates access of opportunities to young mothers in America. And their social impact has been tremendous because when these young mothers were given an opportunity to go back to school and finish their studies, they too created advocacy po um, policies that can help young mothers create access to education. I'd love to one day work with Save the Children because they not just work with children, but they also work with communities. They work with families, they work with caregivers, and they work by engaging communities to understand what it, is, what it means to create a safe and protective environment for children, also offering early childhood care centers. Being an Obama scholar has taught me a lot about teamwork makes the dream work. A lot of people that I've met have different ideas, have different backgrounds, but everything that I've learned from them was able to actually craft and build on this nonprofit organization. And for that, I'll always be grateful. And even though these Obama scholars that I've met come from different countries, different backgrounds, different ethnic colors, different races, different genders, they actually crafted who I am today. I came here wanting to help mothers, not knowing how. But the issues that they carry about education, about refugees, about legislation, about creating safe environments, I have learned something, and for that I'll always be grateful. And not forgetting to be a student at the University of Chicago Harris School of Public Policy. I've learned that I am a change maker. I've learned that people around me are change makers. And I've learned that if we don't take a stand for what we believe in, our dreams will never be valid. Thank you. So right now we have tailor-made pro tailor programs which offer um, agribusiness and professional development. So we're only specifically working in the farming sector, looking at how my country is set up and helping young people. So we're actually giving them the tools, even funding for them to be able to have their own projects. We don't want them to be end up looking for a job, but we also want them to actually create jobs. So being entrepreneurs and not job seekers. Yeah. So this is one of the issues that I once spoke about with my friend a couple of weeks ago. We talk about do we actually prevent women from being young single mothers or how do we deal with the current situation? And I feel like it needs a, multi, um, a multifaceted approach because right now the problem with women being young single mothers is, is from the father's side. So it's about educating the society, educating the boy child to understand what it really means to be a parent, the responsibility that comes with a parent because there's a lot of, there's a higher number of women who are actually becoming young single mothers because fathers have become voluntarily absent. So we need to actually understand what the problem is there and I haven't really um, dug deeper into that. I, I deal more in like how can we help the existing problem instead of how can we prevent it from happening. Thank you. And there's a question. Thanks so much for your presentation. Um, is your daughter with you in Chicago? And She's actually coming for graduations. So. Oh. Yeah. 